The Los Angeles Rams are next up. They went 10-6 and six last year. They got rid of Jared Goff. They brought in Matt Stafford. I think that helps uh, helps them win the draft regardless, even though it's not a draft, yes. whatever. Uh, I do think they will be substantially better with Matt Stafford at quarterback, especially running Sean McVay's offense. I think teams are starting to kind of catch up to what they're doing. The defense has helped them win a lot of games here, obviously to Aaron Donald and that whole bunch. Uh, not Donald, uh, Aaron Donald, excuse me, Sam and Aaron, whatever. Uh, but, they, yeah, they went 10-6 and six last year, and, and they still had some holes that they need to fill, obviously. Linebacker, center, edge rusher, tackle, and cornerback. So a lot of interior guys, and they needed help with their defensive backs. Um, and I think they did okay on this. Uh, the, the Rams did not have a first-round pick, obviously. Gave it up for Matt Stafford. But they went with round two, wide receiver Tutu Atwell out of Louisville, who measured in at less than 150 pounds. Uh, it kind of shows you, <laughs> kind of shows you how the NFL is changing. Um, linebacker yeah. Ernest Jones out of South Carolina in the third round. He is a dude. Uh, interior defensive lineman Bobby Brown the third out of A and M in the fourth round. Also fourth round quarterback Robert Rochelle out of Central Arkansas. Wide receiver Jacob Harris out of UCF in the fourth round. They got Ernest Brown the fourth out of Northwestern in the fifth. An edge rusher and running back Jake Funk out of Maryland in the seventh round. Take a flyer on a kid that can fly. I'm. I'm okay with all of this. I, I don't see uh, anything that was drastically, you know, a reach or anything like that. I think that they spotted some diamonds in they the rough. two more picks. What two more picks? They 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 picked Ben. I, I'm not going to try. Oh, Skowronek. Yeah. Ben oh, I didn't Scal-Renek. see that. He's the wide receiver from Notre Dame that got drafted. Oh, I'm looking and at Chris the, uh, Garrett from uh, – Concordia St. Paul. Yeah. Concordia St. Paul is the edge rusher. What where, the hell is that? Looking? I don't even know don't, what the hell I that is. I don't know what school that is. That is <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would have been surprised. Low tuition there. It's low they tuition play, at Concordia St. Paul. <laughs> yeah, lots of lacrosse and hockey at Concordia St. Paul. Great See. luge team I've heard as well at Concordia St. Paul. But no, the draft is okay. And I think this first round pick they lost this year was part of the Jalen Ramsey deal. I think the next yeah. four or five yeah. that they're not going to have is Matthew Stafford. But whatever. I, if they didn't have a single draft pick and their only draft story was we got rid of Jared Bleeping Goff, good on you. You get an A plus because Jared Goff is absolutely terrible and we all know that. So they massively, massively upgraded their cornerback spot. I think this draft was pretty good. They did address some needs. I, I was doing a little bit of research on this Robert Rochelle. Apparently, the dude's a ball hawk. Five or six picks last year. He just played at a smaller school, right? Central Arkansas. I don't know damn thing about Central Arkansas. I couldn't tell you a single player on their team. But uh, this kid looks like he's going to be. Oh, so you know probably yep. much more than I do about it and probably a lot about Robert Rochelle here. And it looks like the kid's a pretty good uh, player. And especially in that scheme when you're going to, you're going to obviously, you're going to have a pass rush with Aaron Darnold. Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. They sort of started moving him around a little bit last year from the outside end of the slot. Teams are going to be throwing your direction when Jalen Ramsey's on the other side. So if this kid's able to attack the ball, I think he's in a good spot here. I think they drafted players that fit their scheme. So I think the Rams did a good job without having the first round pick. Who's going to argue about getting rid of Goff and of course, acquiring the best defensive back in the entire league in Jalen Ramsey. So I think overall success for the Rams and look, they're probably right now the team to beat in the NFC next year. Yeah, I, I, I like what the Rams did, and uh, I, I think their team definitely got better. And mm-hmm. it was a thing where none of these guys stand out as an absolute home run or a stud, but it's right. just a combination of they took a lot of bites at the apple, they filled a lot of their needs, this is an organization that I trust, and and they took they took a lot of guys that, that had, had pretty good pedigree and uh, and or developed into a pretty good talent. So I would have liked more offensive linemen. They they could use some offensive line help, and I'm surprised they didn't at least look. If you're going to take some seventh round flyer on, I mean, I feel pretty confident in saying that Ben Skowronek is not ever going to make a Pro Bowl. I just feel really good about <laughs> that. Uh, why not try to get some line depth because they certainly need it there. And Matthew Stafford. He's not the most mobile guy. You need to protect him, but the uh, Rams are in good shape. And overall, I think it's a su- successful draft. I think so yeah. as well. Uh, we will. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.